Welcome to Reflective Prayer, hosted by St Paul's at Scotforth and Haler on this Shrove Tuesday, on the eve of the start of the Lenten journey. My name is Catherine and together with Hugh we will be leading you through this time of prayer. We are both part of the team that plan and deliver these reflective prayer sessions. We will follow our usual format, starting with a time of preparation which will be led by Hugh. This is a chance to arrive in the space and settle into prayer. Then I will make a suggestion of something you might pray with and lead you through the process and passage. And this time we'll be reflecting on Psalm 27. When I read the passage, it can be helpful to just listen when it's read out, rather than follow a written text. But later in the time of silent prayer, the words will be on the screen, or you may want to have your own words to hand. I recommend that you don't begin to engage with the passage until we come to it. We then come to the heart of the time, which will be 20 minutes silence. And at the end of this time, we will regather and I will offer space to review your own prayer. We close with a final blessing. At any point, please do, please do use the pause button to give yourself more time if you need it, to find a Bible if you want to use one for the passage or a journal and pen if that's helpful for you. We begin now with the time of preparation. Jesus taught his disciples in the Sermon on the Mount. When you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your Father who is unseen. The time of preparation and settling before prayer is like that going to our room and closing the door. I suggest that you take a moment now to arrive in the place you're going to be for this time of prayer. You may want to shuffle and stretch. And then settle into a comfortable but alert position. And then I invite you to start by noticing what is immediately around you. In the room that you're in, look at your immediate surroundings. What can you see? Let your eyes wander around the room. Maybe you notice or your eyes are drawn to some object. Whatever it is, notice and let it go. Now move your attention to outside the room. Maybe there are sounds you can hear. Or maybe you know what's going on somewhere else in the building you're in. Or outside the window. And again, the invitation is to notice that it's there. Let it be and let it go. Finally, I invite you to turn your attention inwards, to listen to yourself. What's going on for you right now as you enter this time of prayer? What comes to your attention? What thoughts, emotions or bodily sensations?
And again, the invitation is having noticed them, acknowledge them, to let them go. I invite you next to notice your breathing. Don't change it, just become aware of it. Perhaps as you breathe in, breathe in God's Spirit. Invite God in. God is here with me now. And on the out breath, breathe out whatever has got your attention. Hand them over to God. Breathing in God's Spirit, breathing out whatever is on your mind. Breathing is like prayer. You may want to take a couple of deeper breaths just to emphasise this prayer. And then return to normal breathing. And then as we turn to the heart of this prayer, perhaps there's some request that you would make to God for this time of prayer. In the silence, in your own way, express that to God. And now I'll hand to Catherine, who will take us to Psalm 27 to pray with. Tonight we will pray with Psalm 27, using the classic monastic practice of Lectio Divina. In this approach to prayer, listen to the scripture passage, actively aware for anything that catches your attention in some way, or in the words of the Quakers, for something that speaks to your condition. You may engage with a word, a phrase, a verse. It might be something that comforts, that challenges, that upsets, puzzles, jars, invites, draws. It doesn't matter what this is, you're seeking to notice that there is a hint of something there that resonates with you. So take this phrase or word or image deep into yourself and ponder with it before God. Take time. And during this time, you may wish to speak to God about it, to have a conversation. Within this time, you might also just wish to sit and be with God, to hold the silence that's external, but also internally. If there's more than one phrase or word that's attracted you and have taken your attention, you may settle somewhere else with that word or phrase and draw again on the riches there to sit with God, to speak with God. So I invite you to start this process now and listen expectantly as the passage is read. So listen now the word of God. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I will fear no one. The Lord protects me from all danger. I will never be afraid. When evil people attack me and try to kill me, they stumble and fall. Even if a whole army surrounds me, I will not be afraid. 
even if enemies attack me. I will still trust God. I've asked the Lord for one thing, one thing only do I want, to live in the Lord's house all my life, to marvel there at his goodness and to ask for his guidance. In times of trouble he will shelter me, he will keep me safe in his temple and make me secure on a high rock. So I will triumph over my enemies around me. With shouts of joy, I will offer sacrifices in his temple. I will sing, I will praise the Lord. Hear me, Lord, when I call to you. Be merciful and answer me. When you said, come worship me, I answered, I will come, Lord. Don't hide yourself from me. Don't be angry with me. Don't turn your servant away. You have been my help. Don't leave me. Don't abandon me, O God, my Saviour. My father and mother may abandon me, but the Lord will take care of me. Teach me, Lord, what you want me to do, and lead me along a safe path, because I have many enemies. Don't abandon me to my enemies, who attack me with lies and threats. I know that I will live to see the Lord's goodness in this present life. Trust in the Lord. Have faith. Do not despair. Trust in the Lord. We will now hold 20 minutes silence and the words of the psalm will appear on the screen. And at the end of that time, I will bring you back together.
Welcome back. Um, I invite you now to mark the end of your silent prayer time and find a way to come out of that space. You might want to get up and stretch, perhaps walk around your room, do whatever you need to do to come and back and return to the place, to where you're sitting. And you might want to press the pause button as you do that readjustment. A good way to deepen our prayer life is to review it afterwards, to look at it from a place outside the prayer time itself. And this sort of reviewing is itself another way of praying, another way of spending time with God. So now, as you look back over the time you've just had, how was it? Does anything about that time come immediately to mind? Are there any particular feelings or thoughts or questions that have been raised for you? It's not about judging or analysing what you're noticing. It's just about paying attention to what you think and what you've experienced in the previous silent prayer. It may be that you've struggled. Perhaps your mind has wandered off to the things that have been happening today or this week. Or maybe you simply dozed off. Again, it doesn't matter what that is. It's just the noticing and being aware of what's been happening. So in this time now, it's an opportunity to review your prayer, to notice what comes to mind and turn whatever that is itself into a prayer, to talk to God about that. What arose for you or what maybe didn't arise that you were hoping for. You might find it helpful to write down what you've noticed in a journal. So I'll hold a short time of silence so that you can do that reflection and review. And if you need longer than we give you, do press the pause button. And once that's finished, Hugh will come back and we'll return to draw our time together to a close. I'm going to read a poem on Psalm 27, written by Malcolm Guide. Dominus Illuminatio, a response to Psalm 27. Oh, let me see with his eyes from now on, whose gaze on beauty makes it beautiful who looks us into love and looks upon his whole creation with a merciful and loving eye. My heart has said of him, seek out his face. I sensed his bountiful presence shimmering behind the dim veil of things. That presence calls to me, calls me to tremble at the brink and rim of lived experience, and then to free myself of fear, to trust him, and to dive right off that brink into his mystery, into that deep and holy sea of love which the living worlds all float and swim, to dare each moment's death that I might live. Before we close this month's reflective prayer, 
Uh, I want to let you know that next month the reflective prayer will go up a day later than usual. It will go up on Wednesday the 17th of March. And so finally, at this end of time of prayer, I invite you to ask yourself, before you return to your normal life, whatever that is, is there some grace that you would ask God for? In this short silence, make your request to God now. And we close by asking for that grace, for yourself, for the community taking part in this prayer time, by joining and saying out aloud the words of the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with me and with us all evermore. Amen. And remember that gathered or scattered, God is with us. In suffering and hope, God is with us. Now and always, God is with us. Amen.